Hey guys, what's up? Anyways guys, today I'm back with another video. This is going to be a little different type of video than I normally do. This is going to be a Photoshop tutorial on how to merge faces together. Um, you see, uh, you don't see very many of these tutorials, so I thought I'd do one. Anyways guys, real quick before I start, um, I'm going to try to do videos at least once a week, and I got some new GFX, I'm going to start doing YouTube, I guess. But anyways, here we go. So. Basically, what you're going to want to do first is go on Google, or your preferred search as, uh, engine, sorry, and just pick two actors. In my case, it's going to be Seth Rogen and Jonah Hill, and download their images. So, we're going to pick, um, let's do this one. Wait, no, actually. Yes, and also, sorry about the mic quality. It's not my fault. Um, well, it is my fault. I'm using uh, my headset rather than my actual mic. Uh, won't be like this all the time, but yeah. Uh, do this one. Such as Seth and shit. And then do this one. Jonah. I think I already had a Jonah Hill on there. So, anyways, we're gonna open up uh, Adobe Photoshop. I have CS6 extended. Um, so yeah, and then anyways, you're going to want to go into uh, your library's pictures, and set program, open, and then where's Jonah Hill at? Jonah, Jonah. I think this is a different picture than what I originally chose, but it's okay. So yeah, basically, I guess we're going to put Jonah Hill, or Seth Rogen, into Jonah Hill. So what you're going to want to do is first unlock this background. And grab this tool over here and just kind of make a little carve out of his face so yeah hang on like that go and what you're gonna do is uh, left click or right click sorry via layer copy all right and then just you can move this and drag it over all right now that's here, you're gonna wanna do Control T on it to size it up, and so uh, let's move you up a little bit. This might not turn out good. It's better to have pictures of the same size, if possible, but this might be a decent thing. All right. So after you do that, you're gonna make the opacity down to maybe 40, something like that, and just try to line the eyes up. A little difficult because he has glasses, but it should be pretty basic. All right, so now we, after we've done that, we can just crank this back up to 100. Um, now what you're going to want to do is Control Click on this. Oh wait, first you exit out. Control Click. All right, what that does is it creates an outline. You're going to go over to Select, yeah, Modify, Contract, and make this five. Then what you're going to want to do is you should have done this earlier, I forgot, but duplicate this, alright, this down, this visible, and then what you're going to do is just backspace on that, and then make this visible again, and then uh, control D to deselect that, and basically that makes a carve out, so uh, when you want to merge the images uh, and blend the layers, it will turn out good. And then what you're going to do is uh, shift click on the other layer, in that case like that, and you're going to want to go up to edit. Auto blend layers, pair. I don't fucking know how to say that. Um, anyways, after you uh, make sure it's set up like this and just merge it. And yeah, this wasn't a good choose, but uh, same basics. Um, I actually done something like that. Uh, let me show you a couple of things. I did Jesus and Miley Cyrus. Uh, this is for my Skype profile. <laughs> so yeah, uh, that one turned out pretty good. So. <laughs> Yeah, anyways, that's how you do that. Um, so, that's pretty much it for today. I'm going to try to work on another video. Maybe some Minecraft Lust Plays or a whole different game. I'm not sure yet. But anyways, stay tuned for more. See ya.